we're going to look at advanced Kelly criterion here. So the Kelly criterion answers the key questions that we have when we're investing, trading, betting, taking risk in general. Should I bet? That's always the decision you have to take. Many times the option is don't. The odds I, I'm being offered for the risk that I'm taking doesn't make sense. That's a losing bet. So, you know, you just work out the expectation value. If the expectation value is less than the amount you're betting, then in general, you'll be losing money. And why would you want to do that? If we decide that we should be betting, that in general, this is an opportunity which typically will make us money, we come to the second part of the question. How much should I bet? So we looked at that in a previous lesson where we just looked at the standard Kelly criterion. So the idea with Kelly is we're trying to maximize, we're trying to, Kelly tells us what percentage of your pot you should bet to maximize returns in the long run. You know that if you bet everything all the time, you're gonna lose all your money because at some stage you're gonna lose. And then even though you know that you have an opportunity, you don't have any money. Even though the game is biased to make you money, which is irritating. And the solution is just twice the probability minus one. So this was a game where, you know, you have a probability P of winning. If you win, you double your money. If you lose, you lose the bet. So if the probability is less than 0 0.5, then you don't bet. And as an example, if the probability of winning is 0 0.6, you just plug it into the formula and you end up with 0 0.2, which means that you should bet 20% of your money. So what is advanced Kelly criterion? Well, what if the odds are different? What if you're betting on horses and it's seven to one? So the, if the horse out of the 60 horses wins or whatever, you will get seven times your money back as profit. That's very different to the scenario that we were talking about, where if you win, you double your money. If you lose, you lose your bet. In most cases, the odds will be different. It might be you'll only get 50% profit if you win, or 20% profit. How is that handled? Well, basically, the, you can just generalize the formula and you end up with this. So, you're, so the optimal bet size is P, the probability that you'll win the bet, minus one minus P over K, where the odds are expressed in the format K to one. So if it was a horse race and you're gonna win seven to one, K would be 7. Note that if the odds were even, then K would equal to 1. So if you just plug in K is equal to 1, you end up with the same result that we had before. So this is fantastic. That, this means that 
in whatever thing we're looking at we now have a result so we're no longer restricted to just evens odds so whatever bet you're taking you'll have a probability of winning which typically you're going to have to estimate based on historical data or something so you know that's not going to be exact that's that's going to be noisy but you know you you can you, you, that's your best bet and then you can have an estimate or you are offered a certain price for taking on that risk so you know what that k is when you're deciding on what size of bet you want to take so this totally solves the problem that you want which makes it absolutely brilliant so now we just plug in the probability of a win and the odds to get our solution we'll have our final look at Kelly next week because yes Kelly gives us this result but there are issues there are tweaks that people have found over the years that when they're actually applying the formula you tend to find that it's very aggressive that yes it is actually optimizing the average result but if you maybe use I bet half what this is telling me or one third that actually works out better so we'll go into why that might be the case next week and remember to subscribe to be updated as new material is added. Thanks.